No, I'm just gonna wet my hand and then pat him like that. Two what? fingers. Two fingers. Two fingers. Loki's enjoying it. It's like, mm hmm. hmm. What's up guys? We're super excited today. Um, we're doing something completely different. Uh, you know, instead of our usual travel outdoor videos, we got something very exciting today. We got a friend, Loki. Look at him. He's a bearded dragon. We're gonna learn how to handle him and more specifically, we're gonna learn how to give him a bath. Before you do though, Thank you very much for um, watching this video. If you already subscribed, thank you. But if you haven't, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can see more of these videos in the future. Ding! He's petting it. Hi, Loki. You wanna say hi, Loki? Hi, Loki. So it changes color right here. Oh, it does. It does, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's bite. <laughs> Here's a bathtub right here. Yeah. Um, so while we're gonna while we're setting that up over there, um, we're gonna learn how to handle him. It's Heather right here. Hi Heather. Hi. Thanks for having us. Oh yeah, thanks for coming. So this is Loki. So whenever you pet him, you're gonna wanna gently pet him from his head and just make sure you go downwards, is down his body, with one finger or even two, just very mm. lightly. Ooh, look at that. He's so beautiful. And just don't make any sudden, fast movements when you're picking them up. Are those like his ear holes? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's it, like, he doesn't have ears, but just like ear holes, right? Mm -hmm. In my Yeah, look at that. What does it feel like, Enzo? What does, what does it feel like? Pokey. Is it yeah. pokey? Let me try. So go this way, right? Two yep. fingers? Yeah, one or two, just very gently and lightly. Okay. It is kind of like pokey, yeah? It's... He got big. I remember he was like really tiny. Yeah, he was like the size of your finger. Yeah, oh wow. When we first got he just grew probably the most within the first year. He grew pretty substantially. Is he full yeah. grown? Yeah, I would think he would yeah. be full grown because he's about two and a half years old right now. Okay. So once they're past 18 months, they're considered an adult. Oh. Um, if anything, he might get a little no, bit like, girthier. Okay. But I think size-wise, he might not grow that much bigger. Does he grow according to the size of the tank? Um, I don't think so. I don't think yeah. that's necessarily yeah, the case. I think they just kind of grow according to maybe their breed and maybe okay. how big their mom and dad was or anything. This is our first bearded dragon, so, <laughs> you know, we're learning too as long as we go along the way. Zan, you're so close, are you gonna kiss him or something? Give <laughs> 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 him some space. <laughs> so he's pretty calm for the most part. He doesn't really do too much. Yeah. When he, if he wants to like run or walk away, we kind of let him do that. Okay. Um, we don't really hold him back from anything. So when you pick um, a bearded dragon up, you want to make sure you just go very slowly. You don't want to make any sudden fast movements. Um, and you always want to pick them up from the head and then kind of scoop underneath their stomach or belly oh. and go downwards and to kind of just support their body, their tail, their arms and limbs. And also, they say to just kind of keep them close to your body because okay. they might they might like whip their tail or freak oh. out. So you kind of want to make sure they feel secure and like okay. close from like the head down to their belly and supporting everything. Oh. <laughs> He's kind of like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From here. Yep. Right, do this. Just lift him up and just like kind of slide your hand underneath Ooh, his stomach. Hi. And yeah, just like that. Just carry it. Yeah, carry you can lift too. him up. Yeah, you can lift him uh -oh. up. And kind of just keep him kind of close so he feels a little like that's good. Is that good? Yeah. Hi, carrying it? Yeah. You can also put him on your shoulder like this and kind oh. of make sure he's kind of perched up on you. Mm. 
<laughs> Can I take a picture of you? Yeah. Take you want to put them on your shoulder, and Zion? No hands. Only hands? Okay. Okay. Zion. And I'll do his tail. Because your hands are kind of tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Can I put it underneath his stomach? Yep, just like that. There you go. See? Oh, there you go. Is he heavy? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at him. Good job. <laughs> You always want to make oh sure God, so cute. to wash your hands after you touch them. Oh. You want to put them on your shoulder? No. No? Okay. So fast. <laughs> you want to hold them? Okay. Put your hands together. There you go. Okay. You hold them like that and I'll get his tail. Okay. You hold his hand. Wow. Is he heavy and Yeah. <laughs> you want to put them on your shoulder? No? Really? Guys, this is his enclosure. Look at that. He has a little hammock. Where well, hammock? Right hammock here right in the here. corner. Yep. And he had a little baby. He does. Oh, Look at that. Look at that. Like that. Really? Oh, the wow. green, white, and orange. Oh, Ooh, that's that cool. Someone made that. This kind of netting raffia thing is just for climbing, even though he doesn't really climb it. But it's for climbing if he wants to go in his hammock. Does oh. he like his hammock? No. <laughs> <laughs> we try to get him to use it. But you use it more as a baby, but you always want to have like a log or something close to under his basking light. This basking light is for heat, um, so the heat is gonna what keeps them warm. And also after they eat, they want to digest their food, so you want to make sure they're Whoa. underneath their light for a good amount of time after they eat. Um, okay. This bed to the right, he actually won in a giveaway that oh, we cool. entered on yeah on Instagram. Okay. He won that, so they oh, sent him. Cool. They sent him like the bedding or the pillows, that like sheet. And then they also sent him a little oh, hat sweet. that he wears. Oh. He can't wear, but we don't really put him. But you know, he's famous. So he's that, and then <laughs> follow follow Loki on Instagram. What is his handle again? Loki the Smiley Dragon. Loki the Smiley Dragon. We'll put that in the video. And then you know, make sure you have a temperature gun to make sure his temperature is right in his basking area. You always want to make sure it's, for an adult, probably 90 to maybe 105 degrees on the hot side. And then you're always going to make sure there's a cool side for them to hide uh, okay. if they want to get away from the heat. The UV bulb, that long one back here, is for UVB. To mimic the sun? Yeah, to okay. mimic the sun. That also really helps them grow. You want to make sure you have a really good UVB light, you know, from the beginning when you first get them. Um, it's really important to make sure you feed them calcium uh, with vitamin D3 on their food and also a multivitamin as well. You want to dust that on any of their vegetables, fruits, or um, insects and proteins. Mm -hmm. Do they use the bathroom in here? Um, they could, but Loki actually, we put him in the bath. Yeah. And that's where he usually goes. So he doesn't really make a mess in here. I don't want to say he's trained to not Ew. use a bath in here. Right. But I think through habit, like, you know, you put them in the bath and right. yeah. use the bathroom. So they know that, oh, once I go in yeah. the bath or I take a bath is when I usually go. So usually you should give him a bath like one to two times per week. So when we give him a bath, we usually use like a warm temperature water. Nothing too deep. You want it really shallow. Um, just enough to kind of cover their legs and their body. Hey. When you put them in the bath, you just want to gently place them in the water. <laughs> What kind of soap do you use? Or do you use soap? You don't want to use any soap on them. I just want to rinse them. Oh yeah, this is like a, it's a water conditioner. Um, you can use tap water too or whatever you have is fine. You don't really want to use filtered water or anything too crazy just because you won't be leaving them in too long. You can also like... Can more? You want to make sure not to get any water inside of their eyes or near their ears. And you kind of want to just gently scoop some water. You can put it down there. Just put it mostly on his head here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for about 15 to 20 minutes. No bubble bath. bath. No bubble bath no unless, bubble bath. I mean, yeah. Unless you can create, some people use like a foot bath, you know those foot mm. massager things yeah, with the yeah. bubbles? Oh. Yeah, those, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like the pedicure? Yeah. Oh, okay. so, they have, so they have bubbles, so it kind of gives them bubbles, but I don't really use that. We just kind of <laughs> put them in a bath, no, let him do his thing. Well, on the other side. Well, I'm just gonna wet my hand and then pat him like that. Two fingers. Two fingers. Two fingers. 
Loki's enjoying it. It's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. giant. Oh my god. Make gosh. sure his tail's nice and dry. I'm gonna just kind of make sure everything is nice and dry. And then we just put him back in his tank okay. to kind of hang out and warm up again. How often does he eat? Try to feed him every day. Every day, okay. But sometimes he won't eat if he's not hungry, but we still offer him food. Yeah. Um, and so as an adult bearded dragon, you're going to want to make sure it's 20 to 40% yeah. insects, okay. and then the rest is going to be vegetables. Okay. Yeah. Mama. Yeah, the background is Mommy really cool. Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I love the background. That's I'm really cute. Hungry. It's really like he's outside, you know. Yeah, yeah. we try to give him, try to give him like an outdoor kind of feel. Mama. But we take him out a lot yeah. too. What's those pictures over there? Oh, of his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has that's, a girlfriend. Oh, that's the same, same um, dragon. Oh, it's a different one, but it's some lady on the East Coast. Oh. Yeah. oh. But she's she's kind of orange like him too, so. That's his girlfriend. Yeah, his Picture long distance right girlfriend. Long distance. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. We gotta give him something, you know. Yeah, yeah. He has no other company. <laughs> but he, that's so cool. Yeah. I like all the pictures. Yeah, we tried to. It's, it's from calendars, but yeah, you can buy like a background from oh, like okay. a pet store online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy just like one solid background. Right. But we just kind of. Did a collage yeah, yeah. of a whole bunch of different things because we're like, oh, we like this, right. and we like this, and we like that, you know. So we kind of. Whoa, okay. whoa. whoa! Yeah, sometimes he doesn't always eat. You want to eat one? No. Sometimes he doesn't eat. We still offer him. We try to get him to eat, but if he doesn't eat, then we kind of just try again later on. He's going to be in the mood. Yeah. So. It's uh, good. Yeah. How about feed it to Zion? You guys want to eat them? You yeah. guys eat them. Yeah, from the lollipop. Ew. Enzo. Yeah, hey, you ate one. Don't lie. Was it good? <laughs> Let me see. Look like. It looks real, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it third? Third? So it's kind of hard to tell, but you see that dot on top of his scale, right in the middle. You see that dot on the scale? Oh yeah. So that's his third eye. That usually kind of gives them a sense, like if there's bird or weather or anything above them that they can't see. I think shadows. He can mostly really? that senses like okay. a shadow or it kind of gives them yeah a sense of something's above them so it kind of alerts them to know what's above because it can't Interesting. Yeah, so Interesting. we didn't know that either. Loki, so awesome. Yeah, we didn't know that either and they're like, yeah, the third eye. And we're like, oh, that's so crazy. But I guess that Talking makes about sense. You. <laughs> Talking about you. That does make sense. Right, if they can't see above them. So they stick their tongue out. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah. They usually use their tongue to kind of see where they're at, like their senses, like they'll usually smell okay. what's around them through their tongue or mm. just kind of get the feel of where they're at. 